In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use regular expressions for validating form data. I have a very simple form here with two form fields. In my HTML code, each of my form fields, when you leave it, will create an onBlur event, or use the onBlur event to call either nameval or ageval, which will validate my name or my age. Here's the JavaScript. We have two primary functions here. Let me resize this to make it a little bit easier to read. We have the function nameval, which creates a variable f name for first name, and it gets the value from the first name field right here. Then we create a variable test name, which creates an instance of a regular expression object. And I took this information. And it's, I used, I did searches here at the regxlibrary.com regular expression library because most of these have already been created and are well tested and out there. And they have different rankings and you can use them and test them. You can d learn a lot about regular expressions. On lynda.com they have a seven hour course in regular expressions. I just want to show you how to use them in JavaScript. So I recommend that if you are going to use them that you use an external source to give you an example of an existing regular expression and then test it multiple times. Don't just trust them. Always test them with your own values to make sure that you're getting what you want. This is an okay but not a great one that I've got, my first name one, is simply checking to make sure that it is valid text data. And then it's going to do if a, and the exclamation point means not. If it is not data, it will give you an alert that names should only include text, characters, and no spaces. Remember your slash n is a new line. And then it will reset the value of first name back to being blank, forcing your customer to re-enter the data. Let's talk about strategy for validating forms. There are two primary approaches to doing form validation and this is one that I prefer. I want to be notified right away with an alert if I do something wrong because if you have a very long form and you wait until you hit submit to see an error it can be harder to find the error if it doesn't show up even if you're turning it red if you have to scroll up the page you may or may not see the error. So I like to use form validation and I keep it fairly simple. Now again, you may or may want not a lot of allow spaces. I'm just showing you how it works. This is first name, no spaces, and age is just a positive number. But it can be really large. We're not checking to see if it's say under 120 or anything. And depending on how much you care on the field you can go further in validating things. But let's see how it works. I'm using Dreamweaver so when I switch to the live view I can test it right away. And if I put in valid data nothing happens which is exactly what I want. Yes I lie about my age. But let's say I'm dyslexic and I reverse it. It will tell you that names should only include text, characters, and no spaces and then it clears it. And so if I put my age in as Mary, it tells you that ages should be positive whole numbers. So again, if I do it right, but let's say I want to put in Mary Winchester, it will not accept both names in there. It doesn't accept the space. So this is pretty decent form validation. It's not perfect, but the effort it would take to get it perfect is a little ridiculous. To have pretty good form validation to miss obvious errors, regular expressions are a pretty good way to do that. 